So after many years of dependable service, my Troy built mower has rusted out to the point where the motor's about to fall through the steel deck. So I've decided that 2020 is gonna be the year that I upgrade to a battery mower. So today we're gonna to look at the LM2135 SP from Ego. I'm a big fan of all the Ego products so far. I've tried the uh, hedge trimmer, the edger, the blower, and the string trimmer. And I know I'm gonna sound like a commercial, but I've been really happy with all the Ego products and their ARC 56 volt batteries have given me the power equivalent of pretty much gas for everything that I need. And this is the newer version. It has a 21 inch deck, it's supposed to last up to 60 minutes with the 7.5 amp hour battery. And it has two cutting blades, which is what this select cut multi-blade system is, which I hope deals with some of the negative reviews I saw on previous models with regard to uneven cutting of the grass. So let's open up this box and see what's inside. So as you can see here, we have the rapid charger with indications for 25, 50, 75, and 100% full. Here's the 7.5 amp hour battery. And has a cool little light up indication on how full the battery charge actually is. This looks to be the frame for our clippings bag. Here's the Ego clipping bag there. Side chute. Wasn't well, that pretty? Let's see if I can get this out of the box. Great timing for that graduation party, AJ. So you also get this optional blade that comes with the mower in the box. This is an optional blade for um, different kinds of cutting. I believe this is for um, high lift mulching, but we'll find out. And it's all nicely unfolded. That's where the battery goes in. Looks kind of cool like a fighter jet. So on the bottom here, you can see the double blade system. Okay, so with the Ego, we get a plastic deck, which I'm hoping lasts longer than steel, given how often that my mowers seem to rust out with the steel decks down here in Florida. So for comparison, this is the two or the two and a half amp hour battery with the standard charger that I use for my other tools. And here's the new guy, pretty beefy. So I'm going to put him here on the near fast charger that it comes with. Let's just put him right on there. And while that charges, we'll head back over to the mower. Now the Ego mower has some pretty cool height controls that, from what I understand, they upgraded these clips a little bit from the previous gen models that I don't have personal experience with, but I watched a lot of reviews before I did mine and made my purchasing decision here. So it stands really nicely out and they just clip in very firmly and I'm six foot four and this gets me nice long reach um, much more than my other mower did so this should be nice to use so since I'm impatient I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my existing batteries while I wait for the big one to charge up just to see how this performs while I still have some daylight out here so now to go ahead and turn this on I'm just gonna push down the power button while pulling back on the handle Sounds pretty much just like a loud fan, much quieter than the gas motor.
see if this is light enough for a child to operate, which is going to be good for me. This is without self-propelled. Struggling only slightly without the self-propelled. So now we're going to try with self-propelled. We have it on slow right now on self-propelled. Turn it up a bit. Fancy headlights on, doing some night mowing, uh, as is common in Florida. So I uh, just wanted to show you the decibel rating on this mower. So this is ambient right now, and I'll turn on the mower. So with the mower running now, we're alternating here between 69 and about 72 or 74 decibels, which isn't bad at all. All right, so here we are now five months later. The mower's held up really well on the outside. I've been very impressed with how much power the 7.5 amp hour battery provides me. I'm able to cut the full lawn without any issues. There's only been a couple times when the grass has been very long and very wet where I've had to take a break, but otherwise it uh, keeps up pretty well. Um, other uh, positive things to say about the mower is that this height adjustment handle is really nice when I wanna change the length of cut between my front and backyard. I've had no issues with these clips, and I still enjoy the angle adjustment, which uh, works for both my son and myself. And I'm obviously much taller, so it's easy to share. Here you can see the underside of the mower deck. It's holding up really well for a plastic deck. I was a little bit concerned at first, and the blades themselves are pretty sharp still. So as always, I hope you found this Ego Lawnmower review useful, and if you did, please click on the like button down at the bottom of my video, and consider subscribing for more great reviews. Thanks for watching.